Greetings guys. Uh, so in this video I think I'm going to install KDE. So the last uh, week that I've been on Gen 2 on my desktop I've been on XFCE as you can see here. I have the whisker menu and everything. I wanted to play it a little bit safe on this one just because it's a newer build and uh, I'm unused, not used to trying to get everything set up. Uh, with uh, my AMD graphics card and everything else like that. I did have some issues, but in this video, yeah, again, I think I'm going to switch to KDE. I think it's going to be a interesting uh, process. So the first thing, um, if you're doing this from a, uh, as you're building the Gen 2, uh, you want to select the correct profile. Now, if you're already on Gen 2 like this, you still need to select the correct profile. So first thing you want to look at is the uh, profile list. So you just say eSelect profile and then list. Now depending on what you want to do, uh, a lot of Gen 2ers stay with OpenRC. Uh, I, when I was on my laptop I did SystemD, so if you have SystemD installed you would want to select the one that says System D. Um, so I'm just uh, going to stay on OpenRC. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, do the uh, option six. Now the profiles bring in different uh, certain packages and stuff like that uh, as you uh, download. So your make.com file isn't uh, you know, like completely filled. So we're just going to say E select profile set 6. E select profile set 6. Put in password. So now if we if we list it out again, you'll notice that my thing has changed to 6 instead of 3. Um on my other screen, I do have the KD Wiki open, so just an FYI. Uh, it is suggesting that you need to make sure that certain services are uh, set by default, so as they come up. So you would want to have your Dbus uh, make sure that comes up on boot or as a default one. Pool kit and U disks. Now, if you did uh, some of these, they should automatically come up by default. Um, it's also suggesting a device manager, so you have to decide systemd udev or e udev, which is Gen 2's fork. And then you also have to make sure that a session tracker. So I use console kit, but again, systemd has its own, so that's uh, a nice thing about systemd. So it does combine a lot of services that you have to run automatically in uh, Gentoo. Uh, then the X server, just make sure that uh, you have X installed properly. And then <clears throat> I'm just going to show this really fast. So you have to decide, um, like if you wanted to use Plymouth, Pulse Audio, SDDM, SDK, uh, wallpapers. So I'm actually probably going to be doing the plasma meta. So I'm actually going to say uh, I'm not going to do SDDM. I'll probably say SDK and then wallpapers. So um, I'm going to open up my use dot package.use flag. So it's in the sudo vim etsy portage package.use. You want to scroll all the way down. And then you're going to say, uh, I'm just going to KDE. So it's going to be KDE dot plasma plasma meta and then this is where you would select your 
your flags. So I'm going to set wallpapers and I, I think that's it. Uh, maybe Pam. Uh, Pam is to enable support for K Wallet for auto unlocking. Uh, I don't think I need to bring in I have GTK automatically. Uh, maybe I'll bring in one more display manager. Uh, crypt would be if you wanted to crypt, uh, set up a crypt uh, for a certain file, you would make sure you add that support. I have network manager, uh, GTK, and Pulse Audio already in my in my make.com file, so I don't need to put any of that. So I'm just going to say write that out. Now I'm just going to do an emerge PV for P is for pretend and then V is for bro, for both. The V usually shows you the use flags uh, that uh, that each package can come with. So now I'm just going to say plasma meta. See what uh, else I need to do. It's uh, a good thing to to do this. Uh, I I find because you may have to add some more stuff into another uh, text file or a config file. So it's just nice to find out what it needs to do uh, before you actually install it. So right now it's just calculating. So now if you did not set the profile correctly, it would not uh, you would have a lot of stuff that you would need to take care of. Um, there are certain services, like I said before, that you that the each profile will actually take in. So with this one, um, so I have a bunch of stuff. So there's 156 packages. There's some use changes that I need to make. So. I need to make the dev dash libs Wayland uh, ABI X8632, so it is the lib32s for Wayland, even though I'm probably never going to use Wayland. And then it's asking uh, to do one of these. So I'm not going to do SDDM. I'm going to use my X in it RC file, so I don't have to do. I don't think really anything for that, but I do need to make either this change and I think MESA. So I'm going to open up another terminal here. Go into use. Uh, let's see if we have it here. Yep, there it is. So we're going to go to the end. And then we're going to say greater sign equal dev libs wayland dash one uh, actually we're just going to copy this we'll see what that uh, does I'm just going to write it now let's redo it. Hopefully all this stuff will go away. I do know that the use flag for the Wayland will go away. So let's see if we have to do anything with Mesa. Uh, hopefully not. The Mesa is for my Steam client. So yeah. So to explain a little bit before this here. So these two were conflicting. Um, so I needed to add this or subtract the mess of for this. So it's just easier to add the Wayland uh, as an lib32. So now, let's make this bigger. So now you can see what the verbose does. So it just says activities to each one of these. And then the star is for the gnome. It will bring in some gnome stuff. Thus the asterisk is next to that is what it's going to be adding so all I think everything else looks fine 
and there's the Whalen one. Um, so I'm going to let this run. Uh, I'm actually going to put a time. This should take about maybe two hours, hour and a half. We'll see. So pseudo emerge AV plasma meta. So I will come back. Oh, I, I misspelled it. <laughs> okay, let's. You know what? I'll just. I will do the full path. So, KDE. Plasma, plasma, meta. So this should bring in most of the f uh, stuff that I need, like dolphin and the other stuff. So we'll let this run. I'm still going to ask just to make sure. And, uh... Yep, so everything looks fine to me. So I'm going to let this run, and then I will come back once this is complete. So I will be back. Okay, so the compile is done, and as you can see, it took about uh, an hour, 44 minutes in total. So not too bad. Um, so I'm going to check something that was in the KDE, so it's those, um, it's those device managers and stuff like that, so if we just do an RC status, so I have console kit, which was one of them, network manager, I have dbus, which was one of them, I should have udev. Crony, sysk log, net mount, I'll say C update. Was it U disks? Default. Okay, I think UDISC actually stays. Uh, it comes up by default. If not, then I can do it. So, uh, pull kit. Debus. Okay, well. It's recommended uh, in in the thing, so I'm sure I'm doing this wrong, but <clears throat> we'll just move on for now. If anything happens, I, I can just do it again. So this is what it's saying for the start X in RC. So what we're going to do is just add that. So if we do sudo, sorry, vim. Actually, I just have a alias. So right there is the beginning, or here, let's do the beginning. So that is the XFCE. So what we're going to do is copy the start KDE onto another line. So what we're going to do is just copy it. And then everything should be fine. Now there is a few things that you want to do. Uh, if uses status no uh, notifier, um, but you could do legacy sysstray, and then that's how you do it for pigeon. You would install pigeon, Skype, K Wallet. I'm going to see if some of these are uh, installed like K Wallet. Uh, so what we can do is say eix K Wallet manager. No, we'll just uh, install that really fast. So 
Merge, shape V, K Wallet Manager. So the K Wallet Manager actually saves a lot of your passwords and stuff like that. It's similar to the Gentoo password system, so this shouldn't take too long since it's just one package. Uh, as that's compiling, we can take a look. Um, there's other stuff that you can do in here, so run GUI application in its root, um, and then some of the meta packages. So to get all of the meta, you can just say KD apps meta, or you can pick, choose and pick. So I'm probably not going to do many games here. Basic applications, we'll probably just do that one. So it does, so the meta, uh, the initial meta package did not do the file browser, so Dolphin or the terminal emulator, which would be console. Um, KD utils. So you can do like calculator, art, archiver. I don't do any web development. Audio and playback applications. I'm curious what that would entail actually. So let's just click on it. See if it actually says anything. I'm wondering if that's Caden Live or anything else like that. So I may have to do it differently here. So let me move that over. So since that's done, we'll do KD apps dash apps KD core slash meta. Hopefully this isn't too uh, too many packages since this is one of my longer videos. So it's only 15 packages. So we'll just run that really fast, and uh, I'll be right back once this is done. Okay, so I actually stopped this. Uh, I stopped this uh, install because it was actually doing the Qt web engine, and that's a big compile. And I wanted to get this out tonight, so um, I'm going to sign out and then sign back into the KDE. So let's hope uh, everything works. So let's uh, check. Okay, so if I log out. KDE should start up, so I will be right back. Okay, as you can see, we are on KDE, so everything worked fine. So um, I would just, you know, follow the wiki and everything else like that. So in the next set of videos, uh, I'm going to start configuring this um, and let you know how I do it. So I'm probably going to change this out uh, this I, I found a launcher that's very similar to Lance a lot from the 4.x uh, KDE um, it's called Excalibur and it's very similar and I'm also probably going to put up a conky uh, with all my information so I don't have to keep bringing up a HTOP uh, just to see you know what my processes are like and how much RAMs being used so um, yeah, so look out for that. I'll try to do that in the next couple of days as I, you know, learn how to, you know, since, again, I haven't been on uh, KDE officially for at least uh, four years, so this will be interesting. Um, but uh, hopefully you guys liked this video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.